Hello guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. In this video session, I am going to explain you about the another component from AWS family that is known as TS3 get component. And in this video, I am explaining about how to retrieve the files from S3 buckets to your local studio and how to access them or how to process those files and how to do some transformations and how to access those files in from your local system or talent studio. Now uh, for that, I am going to create a new job here saying that ts3 get just to make everything right from the starting and as you guys have already seen my previous lectures i am starting it from ts3 connection using access key and uh, secret key i am gonna make a connection for that connection to my s3 bucket if you have already an existing s3 account then you can just go to the secret managers and get this access keys and uh, secret keys you can get as many as you want uh, depending on the credentials that you have and and the connection got successful i mean the connection got made credentials the con connection configuration was done and the second step is i want to do i want to get the files from s3 bucket to my local system so for that i am using ts3 get component so here you need to build some configurations again i am using the existing con connection here and now for the bucket thing so what i am going to do is here inside the json folder i have employee.csv file so this particular file i want to download it or i want to get this from this s3 bucket and store it in my local and want to access that so for that what i am doing is i am making the bucket name as snowflake learning bucket and in the con in the key side I'm just placing the folder path here, JSON, and then inside that employee CSV. Yeah, here this is the key path. And for the file, what I wanna store is if I see something, then I'm gonna store that in my desktop, YouTube. Yeah, I wanna store it here. change the name to employee okay it is just asking for the folder the desktop I am just selecting my YouTube channel not here yeah I am saving this and now the connection was successful I'm connecting it with on component okay and now what I'm gonna do is once the file was get then I wanna make sure that I like I want to use the file input component and want to print the data here and that file will be the location the same employee and row separated slash and field separate is comma and I don't have any header that's fine log row and I am connecting with this ok I need to build a schema for that so for the schema I am just creating two component two records with string one is id and the other one is some company I'm connecting these two with the main and I'm gonna print this in table on sub job okay yeah that's it so if I click and run then it should print the data whatever that we have in there and I will change a little bit after that to give you some clear understanding 
so for that uh, for now these are all the ids that we have in employee.csv so here what it done is it got uh, it got this it take this csv file employee.csv file from there and printed our like uh, stored it here and then in the t file input we just uh, redirected to that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the file name here to out1.csv similarly here as well so let's see what happens I'm saving it so here also now also it got successful so if you observe this now if you go there in the YouTube section again inside my EMP you have seen the new file known as out1 so which whatever the file that you will place here I mean whatever the path uh, file directory that you place here for this particular file then it will create that particular output file as that particular name so here the actual file name is employee.csv but here uh, the one that we created is out1.csv so the same thing I have used here in the t file input delimited Similarly here I just printed it here but in the future if you wanna use that particular file then you can just uh, directly use that from the S3 itself in the talent studio no need to go any, no need to do anything so this is how uh, this is the main advantage of uh, TS3 get you can retrieve the files from AWS S3 buckets to your local studio so that is all for this video guys thank you for watching